another common perception among the youth is that you know there's no need to worry about uh, the hindu way of life being attacked or being diminished in any way um, but you've written uh, you know multiple books on why that is not true and uh, also about the need to defend hindu dharma uh, can you explain uh, you know what are the threats uh, to this way of life Well, anybody who says that, uh, you know, there's nothing to worry about, the Sanatana Dharma is eternal and all that, it, it, in that part, it's true. But the thing of it is, if you read Bhagavad Gita, one of the purposes of Lord Krishna's appearance was to reestablish the broken chain of disseminating spiritual knowledge, the Vedic tradition, the Vedic knowledge uh, that has been existing since time immemorial. It goes up and down. It has times when it becomes practically uh, it disappears from the face of the globe. Right. So Krishna's one of Krishna's duties is to maintain that. And his latest last appearance, 5,000 5, years ago, was to reestablish that broken chain of disciplic succession to continue the uh, Vedic knowledge that uh, is there for humanity's development. And so even today, you know, the thing of it is we're entering into the age of Kali, Kali Yuga, yeah. where uh, it's known that atheists and some of the demoniac uh, mentality becomes very prominent in society. When that happens, you have people who know not just disrespect spirituality and disrespect the Vedic tradition, they would also like to see its ultimate demise and people, there are people, there are, you might say, uh, forms of government, right. uh, institutions that are actually working towards that. Now, the one thing about India and the Vedic tradition you have to understand is it is a great promoter of individual freedom. Right. The individual freedom to uh, go on the spiritual quest to find out who and what you really are. But if you look around, there's many governments even today, that have tried to uh, squelch that freedom as much as possible to keep people under their control, to keep them from asking questions, to keep them from being completely free as individuals, to keep them from being free from participating in uh, those processes which heighten our spiritual understanding. And so th in that regard, we have to make sure that India remains the homeland of a dynamic and thriving Vedic tradition. If we ever lose that, then humanity, as, at least as we know it today, will cease to exist. Absolutely. And if you think you lose your freedom now, I mean, if you see, if you look around, you can see how many people don't have their the freedom yeah. to do as they would like. Yeah. So we have to uh, make sure that we preserve and protect and, and perpetuate the Vedic tradition as uh, clearly as possible, you know, so everybody has access to it. Like you just said uh, a few minutes ago, it's just waiting for us to utilize. We have to make sure we don't ignore that opportunity. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.